Konnichiwa, minasan. Kyo desu. So some of you have asked if I've ever had some kind of horror story or supernatural experience. And I figured, why not make a video about it? I've had some strange encounters with the supernatural, but I wouldn't really call it a horror theme story or something that's scary, but though to some people it could come off as scary. But many of this also has to do with my Christian faith. So I guess you'll get a little bit of both, if that makes any sense. So one thing I will say is that I do not believe in ghosts. I believe in spirits. I believe in angels and demons. Uh, and in the Christian faith, we believe that there is God, Kamisama, and there's also angels who work under God, pretty much. And demons, uh, according to the Bible, are pretty much angels who went rogue and followed Lucifer or Satan in a rebellion against God. So basically, demons were once fallen angels who used to serve God, but ended up rebelling from him. And now they're a agents of evil and chaos, and they want to help pretty much bring the world into destruction and all that flashy stuff. And one element of that is actually witchcraft or sorcery. We as Christians believe that anything outside of the Bible or outside of uh, anything supernatural that is not of God, like angels or the Holy Spirit, is basically demonic activity. And a lot of that comes to sorcery or magic, what we call magic in, I guess, today's world. But it's always been called magic, but usually dark magic, sorcery, shamans, anything like that. And before I became a Christian, I actually had a lot of supernatural encounters when I was younger. They oftentimes say because children are innocent, they're most likely to see the supernatural. I'm not too sure how accurate that is. But when I was younger, I used to have a lot of demonic nightmares where I would have nightmares of like demons coming and taking me away or demons like choking me to death or, you know, just like trying to scare you because one thing that demons really function off of is fear. And when I was in New York, when I was younger, I remember there was a lot of times I would see like dark figures around my room. A lot of times you can walk into a certain area and feel like a heavy demonic presence. Like one thing if God allows a person to is that they can feel the supernatural around them because we believe as Christians that humans are comprised of spirit, soul and body. And your spirit, which is forever eternal, is the is a pretty much part of you that senses the supernatural. And sadly, in many Caribbean cultures, including Jamaican culture, which is my family uh, comes from, is that even though we are considered a Christian nation or, you know, Caribbean cultures tend to be very religious as far as like Christianity, they're also an element of like supernaturalism or like su uh, superstition where I would say it's like this. Let's say if since you guys are in Japan, Buddhism teaches a certain doctrine. If you hear another doctrine that doesn't align with that Buddhist doctrine, is it really a Buddhist doctrine? No. So it's the same thing in the, in, in the Bible. If the Bible says something specific in Christianity, but yet you believe something that's not what the Bible teaches, of course, that's not a Christian principle. So for example, with that example, in the Caribbean culture, there's many elements of supernatural things that are not quite biblical, but they are supernatural. And one of those things, I think my mom got into it when we were younger. She would go see mediums and spiritualists. And I remember when I was younger, there was this one lady. We used to live in like a, a 10 story apartment building on, on the sixth floor. And there was a lady on the second floor that my mom would go to to get spiritual advice from. And this lady pretty much was a witch. And I remember a few times when I was younger, she would do rituals with me and my younger brother. And one of them was like, she would like bathe us in a special bath. I remember, I remember clearly that one night where me and my brother, my little brother, just took a shower and we were ready to go to bed. Then my mom knocked on the door and basically said, hey, uh, hey guys, time to take a bath. And we were like, mom, we, we already took a bath. What are you talking about? And she's like, no, it's a special bath. And this witch came in and she did come some kind of special bath where she had like a pot. And I, I guess it was boiled with lemons or something like that. And then she would take the lemons and actually like, was like start bathing us with the, and it, it was just so creepy. You know, very creepy. And what my mom used to do is that she used to light candles all over the house and burn incense. And I don't think incense in themselves are bad, but it's something that a lot of spiritualists or mediums or witches do, or warlocks, which is like the male version of a witch, they tend to light up a lot of candles and, and, and set the atmosphere because uh, scents are also a part of a, like kind of like setting the atmosphere for supernatural activity. And I remember there was a time when I was a kid where like I was just so scared to go to sleep because 
I would often get nightmares. And, you know, of course, children, it's natural to have nightmares. But some of the dreams I had were just so, like, crazy. It, like, I, it had to be, like, we, well, I'll say this. In Christianity, we believe that demons also have powers. And if a demon torments you in your sleep, they have power to influence your dreams or give you demonic dreams and stuff like that. That's a principle that we believe as Christians. Um, but I've had a lot of those as a kid. Now, as far as exorcisms, as Christians, we do believe that as well. I'll try to explain it the best I can, but basically in Christianity, we believe that when a person sins, being basically doing something that's, that's against God's law, you're basically opening up a door for demonic activity to enter your life. So for example, let's say somebody, uh, let's say for example, somebody loves to drink you know, constantly drinking alcohol. And because of that sin and that addiction, you're opening up a legal gateway for a demon that functions in that realm of, of uh, alcoholism to enter your life. Now there's all, things like demonic oppression where it's more of a demon oppressing you. Then there's possession where literally a demon is possessing a human body. Uh, I know a lot of this stuff sounds weird, but it, it, it's what Christians believe. Cause obviously if you believe in a supernatural God, obviously you believe in the supernatural, it only makes sense. But basically, uh, so with that example, let's say that person gets possessed because demons are spiritual beings and there's a spiritual world in the physical world. And in the spiritual world, demons can't really much, they can affect the, 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 the physical world, but not as much as they would if they were to possess a body and through some things like addiction or whatever sin, they can enter you and the person is possessed usually because of an addiction or hurt that they face that the person needs deliverance from, which would mean like being set free from that hurt, that pain, that trauma, that addiction, that sin, whatever may be troubling that person. And I've seen this personally in my own life, in my own church, where there's, we believe in the Bible that Jesus Christ, I don't know how you guys say Jesus in Japanese, is it Jesus Christo? So I don't know how you guys say it. You guys let me know in the comment section below, but basically as Christians, we believe that God has given us the authority through Jesus Christ over demonic activity. So basically, if you tell a demon, come out in Jesus name, they have to obey because they're subject under the authority of God because demons are not powerful than God. Satan is not a God or he's not more powerful than God. He's still, he can't do anything without God allowing it. So basically I've done this before too. And it especially happened when I went to Cuba. Uh, Cuba has a strong culture of, 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 uh, I, I, how can you say, uh, like magic, which is called Santeria. It's a form of like a spiritual medium or it's a, it's a form of witchcraft, basically. And I remember when we went to Cuba and there was a church service and there are a lot of people who were either practicing it or who were demonically possessed. And a lot of times, well, not a lot of time, but you would see, even I helped like cast out demons, like someone's possessed and a lot of times when a demon, I know a lot of this is like super strange to a lot of you, but this does happen um, where people get possessed by demons. And when a demon knows that someone is walking with the authority that God has given them and they know they're about to be casted out, they start, that's where you see like videos. I don't know if you guys ever seen like exorcism videos online where people start trembling and doing all kind of crazy stuff and screaming. That's because the demons are trying to intimidate or they're they're mad that they're about to get cast out. And I've seen that where someone's about to, a demon's about to get cast out. And it's like, in Jesus' name, come out of him or come out of her. And that demon has to leave because of the authority that God has given you. It's like a soldier in a general. If a general tells a soldier, you have to do something, you have to do it because that commander is your officer and you have to obey your superiors. It's the same way it works in the supernatural, that God and Jesus is ahead of all angels and all demons. And if God gives you that authority, that's like a general telling a soldier, hey, you're in charge of this group of soldiers. Those group of soldiers have to listen to that other soldier who the commander gave authority to because he gave him authority. So it's a, it kind of works like that. I've cast out demons before. I also as, and I'm pretty sure, and again, I will say this, not many people have had supernatural encounters. I'm pretty sure some of you had some, some supernatural weird encounters that you probably can't even explain. But even as a Christian, there's times where, because I, this is, who cool. I'm trying to explain in a way that would make sense to you guys. But basically, Satan and demons do not like Christians who are working for God because they don't want, they want to mess up God's plan for humanity. So one thing 
that they will do that they will attack Christians or attack people they don't like. And Satan doesn't like you either because anyone who's born has a purpose and you know Satan doesn't want you to live that purpose anyway. But anyway, before I go on a tangent, you know, I've been attacked by demons as well. You know, there's demons who have attacked me in my sleep because they're most vulnerable. But sometimes, you know, demons will send people and talk through them. There's a whole bunch of weird stuff. But um, I've had a lot of supernatural encounters um, sometimes there's, there's times I walked in certain areas and you can just literally feel the demons because they do have a presence and it's a very uneasy feeling, you know, and depending on where you live, some areas, if they're known for having a lot of witchcraft or uh, spiritualists or mediums in that area, you can feel like the tension in the air or whatever. I hope all of this I'm saying is making sense. If, if you guys don't understand anything, you want me to clarify anything, please let me know in the comment section below. And I myself have been possessed by demons. <laughs> now I know a lot of you are going to be like, kill you are out of your freaking mind. What the heck are you talking about? Yes, I've been possessed by demons before. If you want to hear that story, I'll make a separate video of that if you want to hear that about that. But I'll save that for another video because I don't want this video to get too long. But those are some of the, the instances with the supernatural I've had. So if you guys found this video interesting, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Also, hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post a video. Arigato gozaimasu. Minasan. Kiyotsukete. Jane.